This story is about a young boy named Taro who lived with his parents on a hillside. Taro worked as a woodcutter and he always worked very hard to take care of his parents and make them happy. One day, his father felt very cold and wished for a cup of a special drink called sake to warm him up. Taro woke up earlier than usual and worked even harder to get sake for his father. While he was working, he heard the sound of rushing water. He followed the sound and found a waterfall. He drank the water from the waterfall and was surprised to find that it tasted like sake. Excited, Taro filled a pot with the water from the waterfall and brought it home to his father. His father was very happy and felt warm after drinking it. Taro also shared the sake with a neighbor, who told the whole village about the magical waterfall. Many villagers came to Taro's house to hear the story and taste the sake. They finished all the sake in the pot. The next day, Taro went back to the waterfall to get more sake. But when he arrived, he saw that the villagers were already there. They tasted the water from the waterfall and said it was just plain water, not sake. They got angry and wanted to punish Taro for tricking them. But Taro was smart. He hid and waited until the villagers left. Then he checked the water himself and found that it was still sake. He was happy to have sake again and he realized that the waterfall gave sake only to him. The story of Taro and the magical waterfall reached the emperor. The emperor was impressed by Taro's love and care for his parents, so he rewarded Taro. The emperor wanted other children to learn from Taro and take good care of their own parents too.